together for Ted Carpenter. Beautiful black people here this evening. What's happening? No, ho, 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 ho. I'm from the same place y'all come from. What's happening? Oh, I thought it's Asalaamu Alaikum. Some of y'all don't even know it. Look at that. Black folks, how y'all doing? Gotta be pro black for everything, man. Gotta look out for all our kids, superheroes, and all that good stuff, right? Jesse is my hero, right? Y'all love Jesse? Loving the deaf boy. Strong black man went over there and got all the white folks out of Iraq, didn't he? Because you know it was white people, ain't no n getting caught up in that mess. You know that. Jesse went over there and talked junk to him. And they're going to get the Reagan administration, Bush administration, going to put Jesse down for that. Jesse ain't down for that. Jesse let him know. I'm a black man. Jesse told him, our nation <laughs> must not defraud itself, but come together as one, dedicate our heart, our soul, our destiposition. Because you know Jesse will make up a word, you know that. They criticize Jesse for going over to get them white folks. They criticize him. And I don't want to sound anti-white. I don't, I don't, because there's some white people here. I see y'all. Y'all here? You know what I'm saying? I'm not anti-white. I'm just so damn pro-black. That's all it is. That's all. That's it. Bottom line. And, he, and he's so smooth with his stuff, they criticize him. Jesse told him point blank. Jesse came up and they said, well, what do you think about the Bush administration criticizing? Jesse said, I submit to you that don't do this, don't do that, change your lyrics. Everyone's a critic. <laughs> it's getting kind of hectic. My rap is mundane, but it shall remain authentic, exciting, never mundane. In actuality, my personality keeps my mentality based on real. <laughs> Y'all all off, damn, Frank. Frank came in about 20 minutes later, didn't he? That's all right, brother. You're a black man and I'm behind you. You have to be strong, man. Be all, man. They always try to put black people down, man. Always. And Jesse, like I said, Jesse is my hero. And Jesse, I, nobody can stop him. The boy will make up a word in a minute, won't he? You come up to Jesse and say, how you doing, Jesse? Jesse said, I'm fine. I'd like to dedicate myself and submit and continuity. <laughs> and he was doing this way back in the 60s when him and Martin was together. Y'all remember Martin? Way back in the 60s, man. Jesse would come in, Martin would catch him every time. Jesse would come in and say, uh, Martin, when we march on South Alabama, what we must do is we must jogatize. <laughs> now, come on, Jesse, you know that's not a word. <laughs> I don't know why my young black brothers decide to come in here and make things up. But Jesse, I just want to sit down and I want to talk to you for just one minute. Let all my young black brothers know that I'm still there with you. I'm there with you from the problems in Bensonhurst all the way to the Mississippi mountains. I'm there with you. Jesse, I just want you to let my young black brothers know one thing. We are not fighting for integration anymore, but we're fighting for young black people to come together as one, and then and only then will we be able to sit down and sing that Negro expression, free at last, free at last, God Almighty, we are free at last. Love my black people, but I was a, Martin was a man, he laughed and he smiled, right? He was a man. Him and Jesse would kid around. I don't even think Martin would dig the things that were going on there. Martin wouldn't even like the things that were going on. Him and Jesse be joking around, Martin might come in and say, well, you know, Jesse, uh, I've been sitting down looking at this situation. Situation doesn't look good to me as a black man. I want you to tell my young black sisters that that hair weave will not prevail. I want you to tell them right in their face, Jesse, and tell them from the heart. And Jesse, as a black man, if anybody asks you about me, do not tell them that I won the Nobel Peace Prize. That's not what I want them to know. 
But let my young black brothers know that I, Martin Luther King, never, ever, ever wore Jerry Curl. That's what I want my young black brothers to know, Jesse. <laughs> Oh, let me stop that, man. Let me stop that. I be flying home and boom, plane blows up. Y'all be reading about that shit. But you gotta, you gotta, am I jingling, baby? You jingling too. Slap it up, flip it, rub it down, oh no. Well, you know, daddy take care of I'm daddy, I'll take care of you, baby. Yes, I will. That's how I like my name. That's how I got my name. Teddy, Teddy. I didn't even like my name till like last year when guy came out with that record. What's it called, Teddy's Jam? Love my name now, boy. I be kissing, hugging up on my girl, you know, and I can hear whispering in my ear talking about something. Jam. Ooh, jam. Jam. And it get good to me, too. I say, yeah. <laughs> Listen, my name is Ted Carbner, and listen, let's stay together because we're going to know each other. Remember me, down Apollo, peace. <laughs>